everyone welcome to another session of ag305 i am anjit rawat your online instructor and in this session i am going to help you to understand about how we can prepare ourselves to become a certified with azure architect so i am using a proper blueprint of microsoft azure ag305 we have already completed two sessions related to same content now i'm just going to check the another topic that we need to cover so you know that uh, we just need to open ag305 you just need to open google and type ag305 and open microsoft link it will redirect you on page of content so we always try to prefer our blueprint of microsoft because you know that if you want to prepare yourself for examination or if you are preparing yourself to clear the uh, interview so definitely these contents are really helpful to uh, clear the examination plus uh, uh, interview as well as we discussed before in case of azure architect it is categorized in four different module we are still on page first we are still on module 1 so we are trying to understand about design identity governance and monitoring solutions so uh, i think we have already completed the part of azure architect design in pre design prerequisites we have already discussed about it and uh, we are trying to understand about design identity governance and monitor solution so let me open in another page or in another wizard and uh, we have already discussed about management group subscription resource group our back these options we have already completed let's talk about the another points that we need to cover so we just need to open design authentication and solution so in this case azure uh, defined identity and access uh, management consider as a iem design for azure active directory right and uh, azure active directory business on business to business activity we should know about the b2c and b2b both option you need to know about the how we can use the azure active directory services in case of b2b and b2c we will try to understand each and every point with practical because as a architect as a architect it's our responsibility we should know about each and every point right so our agenda to know about the design authentication and authorization solution as per the name suggests the meaning of authentication whenever we provide user id and password it consider as a authentication because you are trying to be authorized to access any resources if we talk about authorization so authorization it may be a kind of delegation right authorization in the sense like as a Uh, for example if we take the example of uh, normal active directory services whenever we create a active directory and try to log in through windows 10 operating system or windows 7 operating system i'm talking about the client so by using the normal azure active directory normal active directory user we are able to just open the system you are unable to perform any task related to install new application you are unable to uninstall any new application from client machine because you don't have authority right but if you delegate the user if you make uh, your user at the uh, as a member of administrator as a member of global administrator as a member of enterprise administrator after that you are able to perform the task related to install application or uninstall application guys i hope you all have understand about the concept of authentication and authorization authentication is correlated to the user id and password right and authorization it's a type of delegation that help us to enhance our uh, permissions right so in this module really important module for every architect so in this module we will discuss about all related to the active directory services so what i'm going to do i think we have already completed the part of iem but i'm going to guide you again and uh, after that we'll try to understand about the design for azure active directory design for azure active directory means how we can utilize our azure active directory with the help of azure portal but before that let me uh, help you to understand about the iem and uh, i'll also uh, put the link of iem practical in i button you just need to click on i button and it will redirect you on page of practical of iem but we should know about the usage so we are trying to understand about azure iem and azure active directory right so let me help you to understand about the iem first as per the name suggests the meaning of iem is basically identity and access management 
the meaning of identity and access management we can use this particular service for various purpose various purpose in the sense like uh, uh, for example we have a subscription right we know that if you want to purchase any service services from azure we must need to purchase at least one subscription second we are able to create a resource group we can set up uh, resources it may be virtual machine storage or anything right and uh, one more point just wanted to add management group right so our identity and access management can help us to manage these types of services from azure portal you can say that you can consider it as a scope we can use iam service for subscription right we are able to use the iam service for subscription resource group we can utilize the iam to distribute the access of resource group through azure active directory user you can access any resources like as a virtual machine storage account uh, networking or anything that you purchased from azure portal management group if you have already created management group to divide your tenant and you wanted to distribute with the help of iam you can do that so what exactly happened for example this is our azure root account for example this is our admin account azure root account and you know that using azure root account we are able to purchase any kind of services and uh, you purchase one virtual machine one storage account one vnet like that we have purchased one vm one storage account we establish our own network with the help of virtual private network not virtual private network vnet so by using iam we are able to distribute the access of these services to azure ad user right to our azure ad user that we have already discussed i have already mentioned the link of uh, practical uh, you just need to click on i button right azure ad user we are able to assign the access of these resources to our azure active directory users clear this is the actual usage of iam identity and access management now let me help you to understand about azure active directory right so let's talk about concept of azure active directory so if you talk about the base of active directory i'm talking about the normal uh, windows server active directory windows server windows uh, server 2012 2016 2019 each and every server operating system contain the feature of active directory means we are able to use the active directory domain services so azure active directory is a type of azure active directory is a type of we can say that it's a type of uh, saas services software as a services that help us to control and manage lots of different platform this is our azure portal right and in azure portal we are able to find one corner for security under the security we are able to get the information about azure active directory azure ad right and using the azure ad what are the services we are able to perform we can manage users we are able to set up groups right we are able to um, manage the ad licenses we can configure the roles correct so n number of features are available in azure active directory using azure active directory user we are able to manage lots of different platforms like you can control the resources of our uh, microsoft office 365 yes you can use the licenses of microsoft 365 we can utilize our azure active directory user to manage the services of microsoft endpoint i'm talking about microsoft in tune using azure ad portal we are able to control and manage avd setup azure virtual desktop setup and we are able to control the services of azure portal as well with the help of iam we are able to manage 
Azure services. So this is the actual usage of Azure Active Directory. We'll discuss about the uh, B2B business to business how we can utilize the service of Azure Active Directory for uh, B2B. How we can manage the Azure Active Directory for B2C as well business to client. So let me show you the practical how we can manage the Azure Active Directory. What are the topics that we need to cover as an architect? Hmm? So let me open my uh, MSDN account. And uh, one more point just wanted to add. If you are using your official mail ID to sign up yourself over Azure portal, Azure will, Azure will not allow you to access the Active Directory if you are using official mail ID. So if you want to manage the Active Directory services, you always try to use your own account by using your own subscription, maybe free trial, pay as you go or MSDN. So this is our Azure portal. Go to the security. Under the security panel, we are able to find Azure Active Directory, right? Multiple options are available. We will discuss about the authentication method. We'll try to understand about the identity protection. So these options are available in our Azure AD. So first of all, we need to proceed with Azure Active Directory. Under the Azure Active Directory, we are able to find multiple options like as a users management, multiple and number of options are available, right? So let me start from the basic overview of Azure Active Directory, add. Whenever we click on the add button, it will provide us a user adding, group adding, enterprise applications and adding any application that you want to register, you just need to proceed with that. Manage tenant, the meaning of tenant, you are able to divide your tenant for different active directory user. N number of tenants are added with my account means you can use, if you share the services through, if you share the uh, subscription through the IEM, uh, the tenant come into the picture means you are able to merge the multiple tenant on single page. Overview, monitor, properties, recommendation and tutorials. Mon multiple options are available. Let's talk about the overview. Under the overview, you can find the name of your Active Directory, default directory. This is your tenant ID and uh, number of user, number of groups, applications and number of devices that are connected. License type Azure AD. This is my primary mail ID. And we are able to find upcoming IPv6 deployment and upcoming MFA server uh, deprection. So these two options we will get soon. Maybe uh, it will appear in September 2024 means by next year you will get the information. Maybe it's a really important for security purpose. And uh, this is my detail means of, uh, about my uh, uh, account detail. And see, this is Azure AD Connect authentication method and Azure AD domain services, pass services, Active Directory pass services, tenant restriction. If you want to block the tenant, you can use this particular service. And uh, then let's talk about the another point. Users, n number of users are available. And by using these users, we are able to log in another Azure portal, right? With the help of Azure Active Directory user, we are able to log in another page GCP, Azure and all the options are available. We have a multiple options. So let me help you to understand about the options that we have. Password reset, you can check the user setting. Under the user setting, it will provide you lots of information. Do you want to use this user for application registration? Yes. Tenant creation, are you able to create a tenant by using the user, Active Directory user? If you want to create a tenant, then proceed with yes. Administration portal, by using the Azure Active Directory, you can authorize the access of our administration. So these all are the points that we need to discuss in case of Azure Active Directory, but you should know about the base first. If you have an idea about the basic of Active Directory services, then definitely you are able to perform lots of things related to the Azure Active Directory. So guys, this is all about the AD. B2B, B2C that we will discuss in next class with practical. So thank you so much. Do subscribe your on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. We'll connect in next session and discuss more about the Azure Architect content. Take care guys. Bye-bye.